Hey guys, Project Zacker here. Today we're going to be looking at uniques and bosses in Act 1 in all the different zones. So the first zone we're going to look at is the Twilight Strand, which has Hillock, which I'm sure many of you have fought many times. He does basic auto attacks and also regens his life. The next zone is the Terraces, and we will be looking at Fire Fury. He is a unique Dune Scavenger, and he will be located on the hill near a campfire. He does extra fire damage and also casts Firestorm. If you kill all the surrounding mobs, he's pretty easy then to take out. Next is Hailrake, which is a unique skulking wretch. Killing him is part of the Mercy Mission quest, and he can be a little bit dangerous to new characters if you don't have the necessary cold resist. He casts Ice Spear and deals extra cold damage. Ooze Black Boom is a unique rower in the mud flats. He will charge at the enemies, hits accurately, and also will cause enemies to lose life over time. The Necromancer Cadaverus the Defiler is located in the Fetid Pool and is required for the quest A Dirty Job. He will resummon undead minions. So a good way to deal with all Necromancers is to use Corpse Explosion or Raise Zombie so that he cannot raise any more. The Deep Dweller is a unique shield crab that is part of the Dweller of the Deep quest. He's located in the Flooded Depths. He deals extra cold damage and has reduced physical damage taken. He also has a slow aura. After you kill his first part, he will break his shell and you will have to kill him in his ranged form. He's a fairly easy mob if you kill everything else around him. A lot of people do this quest a little early on so you can get the skill point. The next boss is the Totem in the Ledge, which is Kaduku the False God. Many people have died to this mob in hardcore at low levels because they're just not experienced. He will deal Spark and Lightning. The next unique is Iron Point the Forsaken, which is a skeleton. He's located in the Rocky Climb. He will use Rain of Arrows and Split Arrow, and he also hits accurately and attacks quickly. He's a pretty simple boss, um, you just want to make sure that you don't stand still so he can hit you with his rain of arrows. The next unique is a skeleton also, he, his name is Chatters. He gives an aura to everyone around him which gives them increased cold damage. He can be a little bit difficult at early levels if he can hit you because he will freeze you a lot of times if you don't have the necessary cold resistance. But other than that you can just kite around, stay out of his melee range and finish him off fairly easily. The next unique is Sawbones, which is a unique necromancer, which is located in the upper prison. He has additional life, will summon skeletons, and also can of course raise undead like every other necromancer. We are now at the first boss in Act 1, which is Brutus, the Lord Incarcerator. He has a hook attack, which will pull you close to him. He also does a ground slam ability, and also just regular melee attacks. The Burning Menace is a unique Hellion located near the end of Prisoner's Gate. He attacks quickly and also deals fire damage with his auto attacks. He also ignites the ground on death like other Hellions. The next unique is Strangle Charm, which is a unique water elemental. He's located in the end of the ship graveyard cave and casts Ice Nova and deals cold damage. Amarissa, daughter of Merville, is a unique Siren. She is located in the Cavern of Wrath. She will deal lightning damage by using either Spark or Lightning Strike. The next daughter of Merville is Ambrosia. She is also a unique Siren, which is located in the Cavern of Wrath. She will cast Fireball and Firestorm. She also has a small energy shield, which you will need to take down. The final boss of Act 1 is Merville the Siren. She has two different forms, the first of which she is a humanoid, which she will cast Cold Snap and Ice Spears. You need to have a good amount of cold resistance for this boss. She will also deal Ice Nova and melee attacks. While Merville's transforming into her second form, she will spawn many other adds. You can AoE these down and then focus on the main boss only. The main boss will summon explosive mobs, which can deal a significant amount of damage. 
but as long as you kill them off before they hit you, you should be fine. Other than that, she only casts a small rising pulse, which can be avoided by having a good amount of cold resistance. Well guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.